The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The greatest moment. This was the moment. The greatest moment of them all. Wednesday pod. Um, yeah. Yeah, man. Sorry, sorry, I'm back. Uh, you know who I wanted to defend? Mm hmm. Um, is Nick Kyrgios. Oh, yeah. Is this? Uh, I saw something on, What's on he done? Uh, the 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 newses this morning. Mm. Not sports related, right? About the uh, he's copping shit. Yeah, because he came out and said, "Though I, I haven't heard him say it, I mm. just was reading it." Yeah. Now I'm going to paraphrase it, but they somehow or other he started talking about the pyramids. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes. I'll tell you guys, like, no, nah, no way they built those pyramids. <laughs> There's no way that they built those pyramids yep. thousands of years ago. Mm-hmm. There's no way. They didn't have the technology. Mm-hmm. They, there's no way. And everyone's having a laugh at him. Yeah. Now. Like, oh, curious, the big dumb. <sighs> like, but, uh, my, my point is. Nobody knows how they no, built the no. pyramids. And he's not the first one to yeah, say no, it. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's not as if it's out of no. the blue. People, yeah. people say that all the time. Christ, I, ho- I host a podcast on a TV show that is based around entirely the idea that the Egyptians did not build the pyramids and it was aliens yes. and stuff, right? Yeah. Like it's a, it's a long-held theory. Like aliens might be a little bit more you know, out there than some of the ones out there, but, you know, like. He's not the first one to say it. It's but because it's him. Is that why it's you know? Well, I mean, it's just easy to have a laugh going. Oh yeah, curious records. Like, yeah. Curious, curious records that Tennis aliens blow. came down and, and <laughs> built the pyramids. But yeah. we don't know. No, nobody knows how they built the pyramids. They can speculate. Yes, mm. but that's all it is. Your guess is as good as his guess. Because mm. you it, don't know, and neither does he. At the very, at the very least. It, it defies construction methods of that time. So the belief is that you now maybe the Egyptians didn't build it. Maybe it was built by people, you know, many, many hundreds of millions of whatever years before. Mm. Yeah. So even within that context, he could be correct. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, what's outside it? the alien chat. Yeah. Like pre, pre or prior civilization, whatever yes. the theory is that like we as a society now, what we know about our evolution and stuff, we are like the, we could be the second coming, the third coming. And yeah. we've had an extinction level event, millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of years have happened, wiped out all trace of previous versions of quote unquote humanity. And then we have evolved again from apes and And is that, whatnot. that's, that's, that's one theory, isn't it? Yeah. That there, that there has been mm. like a, 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 a super smart human race yeah. on the planet, mm-hmm. and then something happened and everybody got wiped out, and yeah. there's no record of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then all of a sudden it's happened again, mm. and here we are. Yeah. Isn't it like amazing when you, like, all this stuff just completely bends my mind? I love that you're getting into this, this I, stuff recently, uh, like all the space stuff you've been watching. Yeah. I'm addicted to it yeah. at the moment. Yeah. I, I just can't. I'm, that Brian Cox, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm into Brian Cox. I'm into. What's he doing? Oh, he just he he can just explain it in a. Uh, have you got him on your algorithm? Like if you if you start getting Brian no. Cox stuff, mate, you'll sit there for hours. He he he's able to explain it to a dumbass like me in layman terms that I just go, what the hell? Like like for example, he said, our our galaxy that that we're in that that we can that we can see mm. like with our our telescopes and everything like that. Our galaxy is just one galaxy from what they can see of a galaxy of two trillion other galaxies. Mm-hmm. Not not other planets, two trillion other galaxies that they can see that is just around us. And beyond that, it could be infinite. Yeah. Like the pyramids, nobody knows for sure what is beyond that. But for each of those galaxies, and two trillion is two thousand billion other galaxies, for light to travel across each of those galaxies, it takes one hundred thousand years. Mm. Now, how can you possibly even mentally comprehend mm. how big that is? Yeah, it's how insane. Can, how it's can insane. You, how can you fathom that? And we can judge that just by you know creating a telescope and looking at the stars, and then you know doing it again ten years later, working out what we can see, what we can't, how much that's moved. 
them even coming out with how light, how fast light travel. Like, I, I, I don't know. And this is stuff like we were talking about Einstein on the podcast like two weeks ago. This is stuff he worked out, you know, 100 years ago or 120 years ago and didn't have the technology to be able to prove his theories right. Yes. It was just what he worked out with the basic sort of stuff they had at the time. Yeah, They're nuts. only now we're like, oh, that's still a building block of what we believe. Yeah. And we've proved it to be true or to be most likely. But we're still only, you know, confined to the to the technology of our time. Like, well, you know, what are we going to have in another hundred years? It's going to make what we have look like now. We're, we're we're going around the Stone Ages at the moment, really. I wonder if Einstein had a theory on the pyramids. Hmm. Yeah. And, and how they were. Well, have a look at that. Which you saying that? I like yeah. at link. Uh, my brother sent me this in the other day. It says all we have, uh, and we have all of Earth's. Oh, no, hang on. That's the that's the that's the last one of the uh, of the Instagram thing that he sent me. Uh, if you want to try wrapping your head around how many planets actually exist, here's the math, and it's maths, and it's unbelievable. The observable universe has two trillion galaxies. Each galaxy has a hundred billion stars. Each star has about one point six planets on average. Multiplying that gives three point two times ten to the power of twenty three. Which I want. I, I took me years to even work out what the power of. So it's obviously ten times ten times ten until you get to twenty three times that in the observable universe. That's just what we're able to even predict. What we can see, light, blah blah blah. How we get our theory about the Big Bang and how all the universe is. Anyway, now it gets scary. According to our measurements of the curvature of the universe, <laughs> already you're losing me. It is estimated that the unobservable universe is twenty three trillion light years in diameter. Minimum, as some theories suggest, it's infinite, equating to a volume fifteen million one hundred and twenty six thousand three hundred and sixty eight times greater than the observable universe, where those two trillion galaxies exist. This means that there are three point two times ten to the power of twenty three times fifteen million one hundred and twenty six thousand three hundred and sixty eight planets in the total universe as a minimum. If you want to try picturing this number, let's compare it to all the sand on our planet. There are about seven point five sextillion. That's seven point five <laughs> to the times ten to the power of twenty one grains of sand on Earth. Taking the total of planets from earlier, we find that each grain of sand on Earth has to represent not one but one billion planets. Oh, <laughs> I I was sitting there with my. We're suggesting we're the only ones. Yeah, there's still people out there going, no, there's no such thing as aliens. Yeah, we're the only ones. You idiots. I'm just sitting there, but like my, my cousin. There's got to be some beautiful places out there. The real estate's going to be cheap when they yeah. first start that up. I, I, I you're getting get quick. Yeah, yeah, you're I'm, getting... I'm buying, like we missed out on Kingscliff. We were mentioning that earlier today. I'm, I'm not missing out on the you next just jump on Uranus. <laughs> some, some unknown I was galaxy. sitting there with a, a cousin of mine who's like 18, early days in drinking. We're sitting there and he's just looking at this. We'd already told him and he's just looking at, up into the sky, drunk on his driveway, and he just turned to us and go, "Fucking sand, fucking <laughs> sand." And I'm That's... like, "What? What are you talking about, Nate? Nathan?" And he's like, "Every one of those, one million, everyone is like worth a billion. A billion pl- it's like billion grains of fucking s- sand." And I'm like, "I right, put the beer down, mate." But it's yeah, it's like <laughs> mind blowing shit. A point. Yeah. So you That's know, crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. But where the other yeah, and so the, but to get back to the pyramids, then like, yeah, how did they how did they have the mathematical mm. ability, like to, to be able to do that? Yeah, well, like, when they talk about how perfectly uh, cut those things are and how like they weigh to us, like the way that we measure weight at the moment, it's like a perfect number or something. And then the way that they, you know, they moved them not down the road; they moved them from one yeah. side of a oh. continent to another, and they weigh, you know, a, a couple of ton or tens of tons each. And then even the pyramids, the way that they sit. They sit like facing to within like point zero zero one of direct north or something yeah. like that. And I mean, to, like, have movies, you seen like, that Nate Barsgate? Like, or yeah. is it Nate Barsgate? Uh, Bargatze. Bargatze, yeah. Bargatze yeah. Yeah. is it? He's yeah. funny. Like, and he talks about like if he went back. time travel. Oh. I was showing this. Oh to my god! <laughs> let, me, you, I'll I'll let me play this. Hang on. Yeah. It's so good. I was Hang only on. showing my boy yesterday. Like, listen to this. Yeah. he's funny. This. <laughs> No, no. He's great. He's great stand up, and it's like it's actually safe. I didn't realize he, like, he doesn't swear. He's not a filthy comic. Like he's really funny. He tells some really adult stuff. But it wasn't until I heard an interview with him recently where he's talking about the fact that he just he doesn't curse. You know, he's from like whatever part of America, and here we go. Tennessee. And we were. Uh, I'm married, and we were. Uh, me and my wife were in Nashville last summer, and we went out on the lake with some of our friends, and we were floating around in the water, and there was a guy in a boat, 
like right next to Is us. this the bit I'm thinking about? I'm, uh, I'm talking about when he goes back in time. I've got it here. Oh, you got it? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, this is it. funny. This is a... I've thought about like time travel. Like if I went back in time, knowing everything I know now, I don't think I would make a difference. <laughs> twenties and I like saw some guy on like an old phone, I'd be like, hey eventually they have phones you just carry in your pocket. And he'd be like, Yeah, how do they do it? It's like, you know, I mean I don't know. Uh, I don't know how they're doing it. It's like a satellite or something. And they'd be like, what's a satellite? Well, I shouldn't have even brought that up then. Uh, uh, it's like a round metal dish or something. I think it's going to go pretty high in the air. I honestly don't think I could prove I'm from the future. <laughs> I mean, they would want some proof, you know? Who's the next president? Oh, boy. Uh... <laughs> We'd all be useless. Yeah, you're right. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.